Hi, my name's Kelty, and I had a video go viral back in June of where I did Olympic gymnastics stretching routine for 30 days and increased my flexibility from this to this. And I've been bombarded with questions asking for the specific routine. What I've done is just a lot of research and found all the different stretches Olympic gymnasts do every day. I compiled it together, did it for 30 days, just 15 minutes a day, and those were my results. And so I thought it'd be fun to do like a follow along of this routine I did every day so you guys could do it as well. But in typical Kelty fashion, I thought I'd put my own twist on it because I've never done a follow along <laughs> workout video. So I don't really know how the experts, the Chloe Tings, the Pamela Reese love them but how I'm gonna do it is I just want it to be like we're working out together picture this we were just working out at the gym together we go sit down on the mat and we're gonna be like oh we didn't stretch yesterday we should stretch should we stretch I don't know should we stretch you know that you do with your friend well that's you and me because you can't be with your friends because 2020 just do your workout then after the workout you and me we're gonna sit down on the mat and we're gonna go through this 10 to 15 ish minute stretch routine and maybe challenge yourself to do it for 30 days i'm not an olympic gymnast i am a moderately flexible human now thanks to doing this so here we go oh i need a timer i've never done this how do you guys i'm such not an expert we're gonna start with the warm-up i'll assume you just did a workout so you did some walking if not Maybe did some weights, whatever, or do some cat cows. So my idea for this is how beauty vloggers do get readies with me. They do their hair and makeup, having a little chit chat. This video is gonna be kind of like that. Just two friends stretching together, having a little post-workout chit chat. A reminder, consult a doctor or movement specialist, especially if you have any previous injuries. Listen to your body, hold stretches a little bit longer or shorter depending on you, or just say for the odd remarks and memes I always put in videos. I don't have a wide camera, so you just see my legs. And wrist mobility, like this, just a few times, and just kind of move. Be gentle, <laughs> because this is really awkward. So just kind of play around with this. And just kind of do two full circles of it. And then we're gonna go here, and just kind of lean back. Twist, five, four, three, two, one, other way, five, I'm getting dizzy, four, three, two, one, I feel drunk, so that's usually your next warm up, bend over, one, two, three, four, but, and that's just a quick little warm up. And now to the actual stretching. First up, seated forward fold. So you're just gonna go like this. The trick, you don't just wanna bend that way. Think of putting your belly button to your quads because I cheated for years because my arms are longer than my legs. So I've been able to touch my toes for forever, but I'd be like this. Now, I can get a bit lower. Let's do that. I like to move around a little. So we're gonna do another seated fold, but you're gonna bring in your legs like so and bend. Same idea, sometimes I like to go up and see how far I can pull with just my stomach, not my arms, 30 seconds. So, you having a fabulous day? What you get up to? This is awesome. And my camera also, see so yes, switch legs. My camera also sometimes stops filming. So uh, if I have an awkward pause, you know why. So, would you prefer to hear me talk? I can tell some story time. Or we can just hold this, I can play some music. I'm new to this follow along thing. <laughs> uh, now, this is just a middle split variation. So I usually just start here and we just hold it for a couple seconds and then reach over to your right for about 10 seconds. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be and then I like to walk my hands back and go the other way for another 10. 
you can hold longer if you prefer. But I like to have some mobility and movement in mine and not have it such a static stretch. So do what feels better for you. Hold for maybe 15 seconds each side or kind of walk back and forth. I know we did a cat cow to warm up, but I do like to throw them in just throughout the stretching just to kind of realign my back because uh, I think a lot of us have back issues. I'm back. So just kind of get your core back engaged. Okay, next up, runner's lunge. Well, there's a lot of variations. You can kind of play around. You can have leg down like this. You can put in yoga blocks. You can stand up like so. I say each time mix it up. I wasn't too concrete on it. I just find you want to get that stretch there and it just modifies a little bit. If it, you're not feeling it right there today, put your knee down, go like that. Add some yoga blocks if you need a better stretch. Switch legs. Oh, see I needed it way more on my right side today. And kind of try and think of engaging your butt. At the gym, I'm embarrassed and I just poke my butt, just kind of like, oh, you touched the butt. Engage you, because then it will help with the stretch, and you don't want to just get overly flexible and not have strength. That didn't make sense. <laughs> oh. From that, you're just going to go back into a kneeling hamstring stretch, like so. Same with the forward fold, you want to think of your belly button to your leg, not just grabbing like I did as a cheater. And that's why I'm so inflexible because eight-year-old Kilty cheated in basketball practice stretching. I would just be like, ha ha, touch my toes. And I wasn't flexible. I just have freakishly long arms. Switch legs. Yeah, so, so there's a trick. If you feel bad about how much more flexible someone is in yoga class, just look at their arms. They might just have really long ape-like arms, like myself. That's why I couldn't wear shorts in junior high, because they had to go past your arms. And my arms went past my knees. Me having flashbacks and nightmares from junior high. Now for my least favorite stretch in the world, but also favorite, a pigeon. This is where I'm tightest. I usually start up here, sometimes I'll go down, sometimes I'll go up and down, and my ADHD kicks in. Don't cancel me, I literally have it. <laughs> Switch sides. All the girls in junior high got to wear cute shorts and skirts, um, but I had to wear granny ones that were past my knees because the rule was your skirt had to go past your fingertips, and my fingertips were past my knees, and like all the other girls, so wore basketball shorts. Oh, junior high was humiliating. A downward dog, but it's not just like here, where you just kind of excuse to take a break in yoga class. I really think of getting my hands up as high as they can so you feel that stretch, and also then pushing my chest down. So it should actually be a really good stretch for your lats. And then if you want to get crazy, Look at all those chickens. I spread my legs out so I also get a little stretch in my legs. But you know. You do you, boo boo. This one seems weird, but it was actually a big game changer. So we're gonna work on wrist mobility. So you wanna be in like a tabletop position like this and bend back. And you want that stretch in your forearms. I'm not an expert, but I feel if you have a desk job, you probably have tight forearms. That's what she said. <laughs> from typing all day. And also, if you ever want to work on handstands or those crazy stay in opposition, but like these kind of things, woo! Um, that's why having good, flexible wrists are nice. And usually halfway through, I do do a split attempt because the first one is always humbling and I can never even get remotely close. But we're just going to try and just kind of hop. Just do a few of it, just kind of get feeling. Assuming your goal is splits. 
in my case it is, so we're just gonna do a few seconds here. Careful getting out. Other side. I find it easier if I start with my front leg straight and then I inch back with my back. Now we're gonna do 30 seconds of a backward bend. You can do three options. We're just starting here, kind of stretch out your pecs and go like that. That's all you need to do. This is great. I do this almost every day. If you want to get crazy and be a show off asshole like myself, oh, I grab my tail, you can go up. And also, I'm just going to hold this, but insert clip of me crawling backwards on a wall. Oh, I'm scared to keep going. Oh, yay! What character is it? I think it's the ring or exorcist. Exorcist, yeah, you can do that too if you're wild, but I almost killed myself last time I attempted that. So. So we're just gonna chill right here on the next one. Okay, next you're just gonna do stretch and grab. If you can't grab, go like this. Some people grab ropes and hold it. Some days I just hold it and switch sides and other days I just add movement in. So if yesterday you did the movement, maybe today hold, see what feels good. Because it's nice, it's one thing to be flexible, but it's another thing to be able to move with that flexibility, if that makes sense. So that's why especially gymnasts don't just stand there and hold a static stretch, they move. So that's why I like to do this. I hope you switch sides. Just hold. So now we're gonna do some straddle fold. Now this is where I'm probably my least flexible, but I did see some improvement. So straddle is just when your legs are straddled and you wanna be able to still sit upright. I'm not very good at it still, but at first we're just gonna lean forward like this. You can hold it, but I like to also just keep reaching forward. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Now, I don't know if anyone else I did take gymnastics for like one year when I was like three. And I think we used to make a pizza. Like they get you, they spread out the dough, roll it. If you're a child like me, you still visualize that. Okay, after 30 seconds, I'm gonna grab one side. Go like this, which is nice, it stretches there. Or you can try and get your stomach to your leg. Whatever you're feeling today. Then mix it up. Here. This looks awkward because I'm not a gymnast. Okay, and then we're gonna slowly inch our way over to the other side. And go. Ooh. This is a perfect time to smell your armpits. And remind yourself you didn't put on deodorant because it's 2020 and you didn't leave the house. Oh. Humor as a defense mechanism. Now this is one I also like. This is like a forward fold. Oh, sorry, you have to see my feet. That's gross. What the? But instead of going this way, you're gonna put this leg back. So I'll show you different angles and you're hold this for 30 seconds. See, sometimes I reposition myself. Back right there. A few different angles so you can see. Cover my gross feet. I still haven't mastered self tan on my feet or hands. Other side. Kelt, did you just start using self tan or no? It's been a decade. You still haven't mastered it. We all have our strengths. Mine is only eating bread and drinking tequila. And here I am recording a full long workout video. Okay, we're gonna do butterfly. So that's this one. And just really think of grabbing and pulling your knees down chest up and feel that stretch in your butt slash hip area. Now I hold that and some days instead of being like this, I'll also go like that and lean forward and I find you get it a bit higher up in the glute area. So figure out what you need today. Do that. Tight. We need to read all four 
warm out the window, forgetting that I'm on camera. She's like staring at the timer, like, just be over. I don't like this. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna move around some forward folding but standing. So I usually like to just go here for three seconds, just kind of pedal my legs. Now, if you saw the thumbnail to the original video, you'll know this was my biggest transformation. And honestly, it was just I just spent a lot of time like this. And while you're here and you get bored like me, you can also stretch your chest out like so. And then if you feel comfortable, but you can pick one foot up and stretch. And then so just kind of alternate. One more on each side. Like I said, if you can't do this, just keep with that forward fold. Maybe add your hands in. You're gonna almost go in to the runner's lunge. You're gonna reach back and grab. Now, in yoga, I know they grab like that quite often. I like to do that so I also get my chest in. And you can kind of just pull and just keep leaning into it. Okay, 30 seconds both sides. While you're here, can I just take a moment to talk about how festive this outfit is? <laughs> like, it's kind of, it's not like rose petally. It's kind of got these like, I don't know, nature-esque patterns. And this deep red just screams Christmas. And, you know, let's ruin the moment. I'm not going home for Christmas, so we're just going to dress in festive things. Switch side. Oh. You can think of leaning down before. Sometimes you just hold it. He like said, remove. Exciting news, I figured out the name of this stretch. It's just called the world's greatest stretch. So you're just kind of going to that running and you just want to get as low as possible. So hold that for 30 seconds, I'll go to the front. So you have an idea. Just kind of go like this. So hold that. And at the time of filming, the video, I didn't know the name of this, but you guys commented and told me it's called the world's greatest stretch or a lizard stretch. Highly recommend. Oh, hold that for about 30 seconds. Push yourself up. Great time to test your mobility. Just go back, see if you can get your foot to come right back up to your hands and let's go back down. Now, if you can't go this low, you just hold it like this and just try and get low over time. Oh, I didn't know the name of this stretch. I also did not know the name of these leggings. It's studio leggings in burgundy red. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Which is, just looks like a mulled wine, which I'm gonna go get tipped you off alone after this. Just kidding, it is a Wednesday. But then again, it's 2020. And Wednesday is Friday, and Monday is Tuesday, and Tuesday never existed, but neither does a Friday, so there we are. <laughs> Kozak, Koziak squats? I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but anyway, just come down one side and hold. And I like to just try and move my, ooh, there you heard the pop. I just want to think of trying to move that up. Now you can keep alternating. Like so, and just keep popping, or you can hold one side for the 30 seconds and go to the other. Like I said, that feels good. If that would lead to injury for you, walk your hands like this. And you just hold it, like I said, add movement. Or you can just take that out and just kind of go back and forth like so. Because we're going to attempt the splits one more time right after this. So just kind of getting your hips warmed up. Now normally I would do about a minute of split attempts with my yoga mat, uh, yoga blocks, but they're somewhere still 
in transit since I moved. So we're just going to do this, and it's just trying to sit up straight, but sometimes I move, sit down, and just play around with the splits. I learned half the splits is just spending time in the splits, which is humbling. So do it with me. It sucks because you just want to be able to do the splits, but just do stretching in the splits but not being able to do the splits is just like a weird, weird place to be. So. I would be honest, I'd say hold 30 seconds both sides, but usually I just only hold like 15 to 20 and just alternate. Because I find it gets to a point where it hurts too much. So yeah, just play around. And at this point, if you're like healthy, you have no desire to do the splits, um, you, I guess you could have it out with the video at this point, but we're almost nearing the end, so try it. It's nice. Honestly, my goal is one day to just have been do the splits. My party trick, I just want to be in the middle of a bar. Back when the bars are open. Yeah, I'm just talking and out of nowhere, be like, bam, hit him with a split. You're completely following me. Go to the other side. I said, I'm just gonna do about a minute split attempts. Break it up what feels right for your body because the splits are very subjective, so I don't want to be like, you have to hold the split for 30 seconds. I don't know your body. I don't know your story. It's no, it's really hurts right now. Yeah. Like today, I was closer to yesterday. Some days I have it, and some days I don't. And that's, let's you out. Ooh. So there was my about 10 to 15 minute Olympic stretching routine I did back in June for 30 days. Did that every day, and like I said, I got from here to here. Um, and I go through cycles. Uh, right now I've got a lot back into mobility. I kind of lost it when I moved for a little bit, but I'm back into it because of a couple challenges. Uh, so yeah, I challenge you guys. If you need a fitness routine, something to try in 2020, here it is. There are a lot of just basic stretches, but I just found just keeping it basic kept me accountable and I was able to do it every day and my mobility has been the best it's ever been. Um, and it could just be a great start on your flexibility mobility journey and then you can get a lot more scientific a lot more personalized hire a personal trainer but here's just a free resource that worked for me that i found online if you have any injuries talk to a doctor get a physio like i said everyone's built differently so this could do more harm than good to some of you guys so be careful be good to yourself and if you guys want me to do just more of a follow-along workout i just thought it'd be fun i know i, I talk a lot of it and they aren't the traditional but i thought it'd be fun to be like let's work out together Maybe you do a few of these. If you do, hit a, hit a subscribe. No, hit a like. Subscribe. And I know you guys like this kind of follow along style for me because this was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Go Panda. Love you. Bye.